Hey guys, let's talk about dumpster fire. I mean, Hasbro Pulse Con. <laughs> Alright, so Hasbro PulseCon happened. It was a thing. It was pretty bad. Okay, it's dull. Um, started off with G.I. Joe, which was weird, and Dan Larson was there thrusting himself into the situation, but yeah, okay. Less said about that, the better. So, no name reveals. There were a couple of renders. Uh, I'll try to find some pictures of those. Uh, the figures they showed were available for pre-order later that day. Let's take a look at them. First up is the Saw Viper. And they gave him a saw. And I can hear the Hasbro now. But he's called Saw Viper. He needs a saw. Uh, now, <laughs> apparently... Everybody's making a big hubbub about semi-automatic weapons because it's on the original fire card, even though a machine gun is not a semi-automatic weapon. Also, the belt feed is not right. I'm not even a military guy, and I know that. I don't know what to say to it. Because on the fact, it sucks. Saw Vipers always suck. I said it. I always hated this figure, <laughs> even when I had the small, even when I had the uh, 3 three quarter inch one, it's a purple mess. <laughs> it is. It's, the gun was too big. The, yeah, everything about it was just off. And, um, you know, not really feeling the need to get this version. However, then we go to Xandar, which was one I thought I would want to get. And I'm looking at him, and I'm not so sure now. Um, I don't mind that they changed him, but I don't know, the armor's not working for me. And the shoulder pads are alright. I mean, that part works. But the rest of it, I'm just, I don't know, there's something not, something's not ringing for me here. And, yeah, it's like, it looks like a guy cosplaying, you know? And it's not, it's, it's not good. And then they put a scar in his Moving on, we got Leatherneck, which I think Leatherneck is the best of the bunch. However, I was never a fan of Leatherneck. And it's a simple reason why. He was the first replacement. Uh, one of the first replacements. He came in there to replace Young Ho. And a lot of those replacement characters didn't ring the same way to me. So, I mean, looking at it, I don't like the weapon he has. Um, it's a little misshapen, and you know, eh, it wasn't my. I had the original as a kid, and I thought it was okay, but not enough to get in classified skill. And dial tone, well, to me, it looks like they may change the dial tone to try to make the equipment look relatively the same as what he used to have, and that's not working. Changing his mic to an eyepiece, giving him a backpack with a mixing board is what they said. I don't know. Anyway, um, I don't know. I, I mean, it's just not ringing true. To me, I don't like it very much. Um, it's just not, I mean, again, he was supposed to be hurt to replace Flirt Breaker, so it's like, uh, he already had a tough time and got a yeah, uh, the render reveals were Law and Order, which I thought the Law looked a little derpy. Uh, yeah, that's what and then um, Heavy Duty, which I thought just looked okay. It looked great, it looked bad. And that's about where we're at. So, moving on, we'll go to Vintage Collection. Now, Vintage Collection um, had some interesting stuff. Of course, the Black Series had Farm Boy Luke, and they have Vintage Collection Farm Boy Luke. I'm not a big fan of the face sculpt. I, it's very off to me. I'm not sure why, but it is very off. 
Jedi Master Carrie Ann Moss is here. She does come with communicator and lightsaber, and she's okay. Um, not my favorite. Not bad. I may pick her up just because it's Carrie Ann Moss. We have the female officer from Andor, which I struggle to find out why we have an action figure of her, but we do. And yeah, she can be a female Imperial officer. So there's that. Uh, some people are going to like that. I'm kind of probably going to pass on it. The Ahsoka version of Anakin, who has a de-aged age face. Yeah. Um, this is not terrible, but not something I'm too, too enamored with. I will say a maybe to it, if I see it. And then we had a Ahsoka. Ahsoka had one of the clone troopers. Which I'm like, whatever. <laughs> okay, so now the big one, Marvel Legends. Oh boy, this is this is tough. Okay, first up, they had a two pack of Vulture and Spider Man uh, for VHS pack. I despise this look of the Vulture. I always did since the animated series. It never rang true to me. It, I just always thought it looked bad. And then you look at the Spider Man. He just looks weird. I mean, he's too bulky. And I thought since they have a Flash Thompson head, maybe that's why they made him bulk was trying to portray him as being uh, Flash Thompson uh, disguised as Spider-Man. Well, okay, fine, but it's not something that rings true to me, and I, I, it's, it's not saying anything, so I'm just passing on it. Um, both of them just are easy to say no to. We finally got a look at the Secret Wars uh, wave, and oof, okay. So, they have a black costume Spider-Man. This one is on the Amazing Sp Amazing Fantasy Spider-Man body, which is short, which does not make sense. Spidey was not young, as young in this. He was in college. So, yeah, why is he being short? I don't know. I think it's weird. It doesn't work. Honestly, I still have my retro carded black costume Spidey. That works for me. I love it. Yeah, it has pins, but you know what? He's all black. You can barely see him anyway. Next up is Iron Man. Oh, boy. Um, the Unibeam. Look at the comic. Look at this guy. This Unibeam is colored as if it were the AI Tony Stark hologram. And, yeah, that's not working for me either. I don't like it. I have to make a pass on it. Uh, they included roller skates, which I thought was one of the dumbest things they ever did in the comics anyway. So, yeah, that's easy to pass on. Um, so, what has he got? A Secret Wars gun that he came with. Yeah, I mean, come on. This is, a, this is an easy pass. A lot of people are mad because they're not acknowledging that it's Rhodey, but... Whatever. Captain America. This one, the way they talk about it, it's like, you all don't know what toys you make. Because he kept talking about how this is a great update to the 80th anniversary one, which we already had one of those for the 20th anniversary of Marvel Legends. So, yeah. Um, I just got to say it, the big complaint about that figure was, was you couldn't have Cap standing with just his shield, which should be a requirement. So what'd they do when they released this one? They broke the shield. And I know, I know, I know, I know, don't even say it, I know. The point being, is they had a chance to fix the shield and give us a proper shield for that Captain America, and they did. And it made a huge deal out of the saluting hand. I'm like, did you not notice that you had that saluting hand with the last Captain America? Apparently not. So... This one is a super easy pass. I don't like the head sculpts anyway. They bother me a little bit. Um, I don't do it. The Beyonder. I don't give a shit. Yeah, it may surprise me. I'm an old school guy, but you know what? I hated Secret Wars too. The only thing, you know, 
And in that story, the Beyonder went from a celestial being to a person. Which made no sense. And I think there would have been potential in that story, but it got squandered. And I don't want to figure it. I thought he looked lame. I thought he came across as very lame. And I don't need a reminder of how lame that was. <laughs> I remember Secret Wars 2 was one of the most disappointing comics I ever read. I saw the potential of the story, but when I read it, I was like, what the hell is going on here? <laughs> and it's like, uh, I put it down and I try never to look at it again, although I still have it. Brown Costume Wolverine. It's more accurate to the original toy line than the comic book, but you know what? I'll take. Um, I do have the brown costume Wolverine from the retro wave a while back. Somebody gave me a good deal on it, and I'm happy with that. I am going to get this one because he's got better claws, because you know he's got those little claws that can pin the ball out. Uh, this is on a pinless body, too, so why not? Um, if this had been 33, I would have passed it. Rumor was this was a dollars figure because Entertainment Earth had a listing of a hundred ninety nine dollar case of figures. It said SW Wave. Um, everybody thought it was Secret Wars. Yeah. Okay. By the way, all of these come with big ass shields, just like the old toy, which were completely unnecessary. But okay, whatever. Last is my favorite, Titanium. Definitely blind, buying this one because this, I've begged for this character for almost a decade. And she's finally being released. So, that's cool. My only one minor gripe. And I just don't get it. Is Why is, why is her chest painted pink? That doesn't make any sense to me. You could have just had it. I mean, it I don't know. It could have been like the comic and just been fine. Nobody would have cared. Making it pink makes it more obvious. It's just, dear God. I mean, just, uh, you know what? Here's the thing, though. I ain't getting this figure again in my life. You know, they're never doing this figure again. So I'm getting it now because that's my chance. Um, this is not on the She-Hulk body, by the way. Uh, they showed her with the She-Hulk body. She is shorter than She-Hulk, which is accurate to the comic. I was very surprised by that. I would imagine this is on the Power Princess body. Um, fine. That's good. Those legs have to be new, though, for, for the spikes. I don't care. This is, I wanted this. this. This is what I wanted. I got it. I'm cool. Uh, so you have to think about this. All these figures. A few maybes. One definite. Two definite. Uh, one reluctant. That's not a good showing. <laughs> How many figures were shown? I'm just doing the shit I'm interested in. I ain't talking about all the other stuff they showed. Yeah. Um, there was a Dungeons and Dragons thing. I didn't pay attention to it. I probably should go back and watch it. I'm sure there's something controversial about Dungeons and Dragons. Because, oh, that's been getting a lot of attention lately. <laughs> anyway, that's my look at PulseCon. I thought it was pretty bad. I have to be honest. I thought it was one of the worst showings Hasbro's ever done. Um, at least when that, since they've been doing live stream. I have to be honest. I mean, both in presentation and in what they showed. I mean, it was all around. It was terrible. <laughs> I just didn't like it. So, with that said, I'm going to wrap up this video. And uh, thanks for listening to me ramble on about toys and what's going on i do think it's weird that gi joe went on first and had no name reveals no retro reveals, nothing that's something to note i'm going to keep a note on that that's kind of interesting but that's not normal i know some people said oh they're saving it for october i don't know why but okay all right that's it i'm gonna wrap it up Thanks for watching. Don't forget to do all the YouTube stuff and uh, you guys take care.